Welcome to Coding Corner with me, Julian. And me, Goose. Today we'll be making a fully functional tank game. Oh, just like on the old Atari consoles. This is very retro. Mm. Before we boot up Scratch, make sure you download all the files you need from our website here. All right, Julian, talk us through the first step. First, load up the background. This set of dark grey rectangles on a grey field will be the maze in which our tank will duel. Next, load in the five sprites we'll be using. Then, load in the alternate costumes for each sprite. Then load in the sounds. Now select Sprite 1, which will be the player-controlled tank. Under Scripts, select Data and create a new variable, Speed. From Events, drag a When Green Flag Clicked block into the code panel. Below that, from Looks, add a Switch Costume to Blank block and set the drop-down to Costume 1. Below that, from Motion, add a go to x, y block and set each value to 100. Below that, we'll need a forever loop. From Motion, insert a point towards blank block and set the drop down to mouse pointer. Below that, but still within the forever loop, place two if then clauses. In the first, set the trigger to a touching color hexagon from Sensing and set the color to the dark gray of the barriers. Inside that first loop, from motion, insert a move blank steps block and set the variable to negative 10. In the second if then, set the trigger to another touching color block and set it to the light gray of the battlefield. Inside that clause, put a move blank steps block and set it to four. This stack is now complete. It ensures that your tank is always driving towards the mouse pointer and will make it bounce back from any obstacles it may run into. Now we create another stack, again beginning with a when green flag clicked block. Place a forever loop immediately below it. Inside it, place an if then clause. From sensing, set the trigger to a touching blank hexagon and set the drop down to sprite four. Inside the if then clause, from control, insert a stop blank block. Send it to other scripts in Sprite. Below that, from looks, insert a switch costume to blank block and set the drop down to explosion. Below that, from sound, insert a play until done block and set the drop down to boom. Below that, from control, insert a stop blank block and set the drop down to all. That's it for the scripts for your tank. The second stack of code makes your tank blow up and ends the game when you get hit. Now onto sprite number two, and this one only needs one stack of code. Start it with a when green flag clicked block. Below that, from looks, add a set blank effect to blank block. Set the drop down to ghost and set the variable to 100. Add a forever loop. From motion, add a go to blank block, set the drop down to sprite one. Below that, insert a point towards blank block and set the drop down to mouse pointer. Below that, still within the forever loop, insert an if then clause. Go to sensing and set the trigger to mouse down. Inside the if then, from looks, insert a set blank effect to blank block. Set the drop down to ghost and leave the variable at zero. Below that, from sound, insert a play sound block. Set the drop down to pew. Below that, insert a repeat until loop. For the trigger, insert a blank or blank hexagon from operators. For the left side of the operator, insert a touching color dark gray from sensing. And on the right side, a touching blank hexagon. Set the drop down to edge. Inside the repeat until loop, add a move blank steps from motion, set the value to seven. Finally, just inside the end of the forever loop, insert a set blank effect to blank block from looks. Set the drop down to ghost and set the value to 100. Now that it's complete, this stack will fire your tank's gun whenever you click on the mouse your shots will disappear when they hit an obstacle or the edge of the map. Pew. Pew. Pew.
Pew. Great. So now our tank moves around and it can fire, but I still think it's missing something, Julian. Ah, uh, that would be the enemies. We'll do that next week, Goose. Excellent. Well, remember, Spawnlings, you can get all the files you need and the lesson notes on our website here. But until next time, Goose out. Julian out. OK, I'm going to drive my tank around. Mm, fire! Yeah, it really is missing something. Yeah. OK. Oh, my God.